Hello everyone, this is Jeremy. Uh, this is actually my first video, um, so I'm trying to learn all the controls here, but uh, I just wanted to really share with you um, the value chaos technique that um, I discovered and uh, hopefully to pass that along. So what you're looking at right now is a um, image that I took from DeviantArt. It was a um, stock image of uh, smoke texture. Um, I'm using that texture to to create another image with it, uh, just to you know extracting the values out. Um, I really didn't know what I was going to do when I started. Um, and I, this is actually like my second or third video that I've attempted, which is why you you don't actually see this right from the very beginning. <clears throat> So as you see, um, I'm looking at some, you know, I'm imagining some sort of a lighthouse, some ocean waves, um, and it it almost looks like, you know, the, the image is, is drawing itself, really. Um, you know, I see things in the clouds here, and uh, I'm just basically extracting them, putting in some interesting shapes, um, trying to vary the, the light, the dark, trying to establish the composition um, and and I apologize for such a small thumbnail that you're looking at um, but this is this is basically how I work because if the image looks good from far away then um, it's going to look good uh, close up so it, it needs to read really well um, and so that's why I work so zoomed out so let me see. Um, the the video itself has been sped up around 600 times. Um, the the actual drawing took about an hour. That's um, just you know extracting the, the black and white values and getting the overall composition that I want. Um, that took about an hour, and then the the next couple hours um, was uh, coloring it in and adding all the details and everything that I wanted. So the video itself was probably about just over three hours long. Um, so I started with a um, image that's around 1,000 in width by 16 or 618 in height. Um, and so this is the image size that I usually start with. It's the thumbnail. Um, I, I love this this technique. I, I never knew it really existed until I started learning uh, the, the digital drawing um, this last year or so. Uh, I, I came up upon it somewhere on the internet. It could have been Fengzu or um, some other website. I, I really don't remember. Um, so what can I tell you about this method? So, uh, or what else I'm doing here? The Brushes that I'm using are pretty much any brush that you can find online. Um, I did make some adjustments to them. In fact, uh, I use mostly my um, the the chalk brush a lot. I I use the my what I call my um, sketch brush a lot and scribbler. Um, I love these few brushes and. I don't really vary too much away from them. Um, I did add a little bit of texture brushes to the lighthouse itself, as you'll see later on, but I, I do that towards the end. And, and I probably could have done more post-processing image uh, rendering on this, but um, you know, I'm just kind of lazy about those types of things. I, I'm sure I could push, push the image more, but uh, this is this is the the part. That I really enjoy, um, just you know, creating something from from nothing. I I've always had a problem um, trying to draw what what doesn't exist. Um, you know, this I have no photo references for this. Um, you know, everything that um, I'm doing here right now is basically from my visual library. Um, <clears throat> I do later on um, pull colors from. Um, couple of different images. One um, for stormy skies, I, I wanted that um, that coloring, and then I wanted another coloring for uh, the, the, the type of sunset and things. So um, I did borrow them, 
uh, from other stock images, and I, I do reference them uh, later on uh, in the DeviantArt. If you visit JJ Peabody at DeviantArt.com, you, you can see the um, the links and um, the actual images that I use to produce this. <clears throat> so I really, you know, enjoy working with this method. Um, it allows me just to control the values um, and just focus on them and not worry so much about, uh, you know, colors. Um, this this is just perfect for me. Uh, here I added a little backlight to the, the lighthouse, but uh, I realized later on uh, it, you probably wouldn't see that um, that edge to the lighthouse. If, if you did, it really wouldn't be so strong, not the value anyway. Um, what else can I say about this image here? Um, so I, I realized that the, the the door to this lighthouse was a little bit large. I, I wanted uh, to make the scale seem a little bit more grand, so uh, you know, I wanted the tiny windows to make it look like it's you know it's a really big place that someone could live. Uh, so it looks like I started removing the, the door. I'll end up going back and putting that back in. But um, as you can see, the, the values are really starting to read very well. Um, from this distance. Um, so I don't really think that I can uh, say too much through this entire video because um, I'm just really not that smart with art. I've, um, I've never taken any classes but um, what I you know whatever I do know I'll, I'll just try to share um, but I don't really think that I can actually talk for a half an hour. Um, about art that that would really be uh, quite a, an achievement for me. Um, what you see me doing right here is uh, just adding some reflections and things and, and really what I'm doing is just um, I'm trying to add what's like really cool in the world right um, and put all of that into this this little image like I just happen to been um, lucky to, to capture everything that's really cool um, all in this this one spot, you know, uh, we've got sun rays, light, reflections, um, the water, uh, you know, um, the, the, the sun shining through the waves, uh, the waves crashing, you know, you just want to put everything that's cool into to one shot. Um, I never really understood that, that I could do this before. Um, if you look at any of my, my gallery on DeviantArt, um, you'll see that I did a lot of realism photos or you know, images. I, I would basically take a photo of uh, something and just paint it and I really had a trouble breaking away from that realism. Um, you know, I could only paint what I saw, what, what was existing there, you know, and um, and th I, I think the reason for this is because my visual library was so limited. Um, and so what I started to do, I mean, it there was benefit to this because as I'm doing those realism photos, I'm building up my, my visual library, right? <clears throat> so um, later on, I'm able to uh, recall those things that I'm, I'm learning and... Um, interpret them in my own way and put them into my art, you know. Um, and so uh, I finally was able to move past this and just do what was really cool. Um, just, you know, adding everything that's cool in the world into one one image and just making it epic. And um, of course, you know, it's it's been a long challenge for me. Um, uh, to get to the point that I'm at right now, and I, <clears throat> I don't even think I'm really all that good. Um, I know I can improve, and so um, you know I, I keep doing that every day. Um, but uh, you know these things that I'm learning, if I can pass them along to to others so that they can improve themselves, then um, then that's great. If I can inspire anyone, then that that's awesome. So. Uh, what I'm doing here is, uh, I don't know if you've been 
just listening to me or, or watching what's going on here. Um, uh, I'm using the, the, the contrast and the values to um, create depth. Um, I'm using the waves and light to, to focus attention um, and to, I mean, if you look at the waves, they, they kind of curve around in, into the lighthouse. Um, you know, this is a trick that I learned for, for compositions, and I try to do it subtly. I, I don't like um, doing things so obvious, like, you know, this, this, a sharp angle on the rocks or something to, to point at the, the lighthouse. I've seen some images that um, uh, they, they really can go too far with those and just uh, everything just points to the lighthouse and it just creates so many sharp edges and um, it just really makes it uninteresting to to look at and, and unrealistic. Uh, you know, it sure, um, you want to, to guide um, your viewer's eyes, but I don't really think that you want to, to force them to all converge into one spot on your image. Um, you, you really want the viewer's eyes to dance around the image and, and um, <clears throat> really see everything that you've put there. Um, so I'm actually going to stop talking for a little bit and uh, just let this this video play on. I'll probably come back on to talk some more when the uh, when we begin adding color, which should be pretty soon. Okay, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, I've uh, found an image on DeviantArt that I really like the, the colors. Uh, so I'm going to, to extract those colors, and I created a color overlay um, layer. Actually, I, it was color. I switched it to overlay. And uh, I'm just basically extracting the colors from the stock image and applying them to, to my little world here. Um, this is the technique that I use that I am uh, really enjoying, that the colors I picked from the waves. Um, so, you know, this is entirely my image, but, um, you know, I'm just boring the colors, and, and this is perfectly legal to do. Um, and it, it, it just allows me not to have to create everything from start. Um, the, the values on the image itself is, has been... Um, you know, color balanced, and um, they, they're already interesting, right? And so as you can see here, I've already removed the the image, and uh, I am picking a few of my own colors here, um, and just kind of working with that. Now, what I've been doing here as well is uh, you see a lot of blues, and uh, the warmer colors, um, you know, add a nice contrast. Uh, so not only should you add contrast with the, the light and dark, um, but you should also add contrast with your, your colors and your saturation. Um, all of these things really just create interest and, uh, to, your, to your image and makes it that much better for, um, you know, for, for the viewer. Um, I really have no idea uh, what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, what I've been trying to do is... Um, just I'm playing around with the colors. Um, obviously, you know, I, I realize as I'm doing the, the land here that uh, 
things just didn't look quite right, so I'm borrowing more colors from the stock image that that um I found. <clears throat> and uh, you know, I'm picking colors from the sky. Um nothing's really new. I'm just reusing the, the colors that I've already found and established. Um and putting them down into reflections and you know, adding more sea foam because sea foam's always cool. Um and let me see. So right now that's the stormy sky that uh, I'm extracting. Uh, later on, I'll actually do the, the sunset. And I don't know. Um, maybe I added too many colors. I've always been having a problem with um, not adding enough colors to my images, and they they almost look very um, monotone or um, or I, I forget what the the actual um, term. That they use is, but um, <clears throat> they definitely lack a, a lot of interest because of that. So, um, sorry for this little jump here, but um, I actually uh, forgot that I wasn't recording. Uh, this is actually my first recording. That I'm not sure if I remembered mentioning that or not, but um, I started recording and then stopped to um, check to see if the the, the stock image that I found would actually work, and I forgot to hit the record button again. So um, I apologize for that. And uh, so the the sunset, you know, just suddenly appeared. But the, you know, nothing's really changed here uh, as far as you know, the, the method that I'm using and uh, things like that. The, you know, I'm just basically I um, overlaid the colors. Um, as you see, I'm right now I'm working with a soft light layer. Um, I'll vary between soft light and normal and multiply. Um, basically, um, you know, they all do different things. Um, and uh, I don't normally work with so many layers. Uh, you know, I just, I, I basically keep working and then I'll flatten them down as I just did there. Um, you know, it just, this is my workflow. Um, you know, I'll just keep adding layers and then flatten and, um, you know, continue on with. Um, so I'm I'm looking in the at this right now, and it's uh, you know a lot of the image is uh, a little muddy in color. So I um, I go through and I, I lighten up the sky a bit and add a little bit more contrast. And I think I'm using a soft light for that. And it seems to do really well. I've never really used these so much before, um, but I'm trying to use them more. Um, you, you know, it adds, it seems to increase the, the saturation of the color. So um, before where I might have had some muddy colors, um, adding a soft light layer seems to um, kind of normalize the, the value or, you know, the color that I have there and just shift it towards more one, one hue uh, so it doesn't look so muddy. Um, this seems to work out really well for me. Um, and so, you know, looking at this, I, I think maybe, you know, perhaps I'm, I've used too much color. Um, I don't know if that's possible or not. Uh, you know, I'm really not that smart with, with art. I just, I keep painting to, um, you know, whatever looks right to me and just adding a lot of interest. And, um, you know, I can go back and look at my images later and see so many mistakes. And at some point you just have to, um, just, just say I'm done. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, move on. I've, I've learned as much as I can from this image, and, and uh, you know, whatever I've, I've, uh, you know, mistakes that I made in this image, I'll try to avoid them in the next. Or whatever worked in this image, you know, I'll apply it to to the next image that I do. Um, you know, for example, uh, you know, some of the things that I've learned as I'm doing my art is to look for. Uh, you know, convergence, um, and things that just don't quite look right. Um, I have a really bad habit of uploading my images too soon uh, to, because I'm so excited by them, you know, I want to show them off. And, uh, you know, as I do that, I keep finding mistakes, little things that I want to change, and I just have to say uh, enough. Um, and so looking at this image right now is, um, you know, I can point out some things that, that are wrong that I end up changing later on um, 
in this this video here is that those white puffs of clouds just to the right of the uh, lighthouse um, they, they they really look weird you know they're just kind of there they, they just um, they didn't really do what I wanted to do which was just the light kind of spilling down and just um, kind of you know more the, the value being stronger towards right now the, the left of the image but it, um, and then um, so there, it's almost too bright right um, I think later on that that I actually um, uh, tone down the, the value there um, to make it a little bit more darker and to achieve the effect that I, that I wanted to um, also one of the things that uh, look wrong here that I'll end up fixing is the, the lighthouse is actually crooked um, not quite sitting the way that I wanted it um, and you know you, you can't see everything at once when, when you're looking at the image which is why I work uh, zoomed out a lot um, I, as you see later on I'll actually start zooming in and start adding in some of the detail and it looks good from far away and sometimes I actually forget that I actually do need to zoom in um, to, to apply more detail and, and I don't think I actually did that nearly enough on this image um, you know this only took three hours that's that's not a lot of time for, for an image and um, I definitely could clean things up a lot more um, but you know like I said earlier I'm really kind of lazy um, I, I get the, the main thing down um, and, and I don't really want to add so much detail either. Um, if the, the image reads well far away, um, then that, that's really good enough for me. Um, it is, <clears throat> I just can't do um, looking at the same image all, all the time for so long. It's, uh, it's really kind of boring for me. This isn't my main profession, so I'm just doing this for me. Um, I've always been interested in art, um, but never really applied myself um let me see my uh i took a college class uh for painting when i went to college um it was really the first um class that i that i ever took and first and only class really um but i, I fell in love with the oil painting and uh i did a few oil paintings um since then um but i really started to do the, the digital art it just works much better for me you know um, so I was doing still lifes with with the oil painting I, I really don't do um, you know open air or plain air um, images even though I do a lot of landscapes um, I have never actually taken a canvas out to to the field and, and painted anything and um, you know I, I know there's value gained in this um, I, I really can't tell you why I, I don't go doing that. Uh, um, you know, I, I can't really take my Cintiq outside. I've been thinking about getting an iPad um, or something similar so I can, um, you know, hopefully try to apply this workflow out in the um, plain air painting, um, which I think I would really enjoy. But I think I enjoy more creating things that don't exist and um, just making really just kind of a magical world. <clears throat> so as you see in the image here, I've uh, I've straightened out my lighthouse a bit. Um, you know, I'm just trying to clean it up. Um, you, you see patterns in the clouds that um, I'll go back and I'll fix later on. Um, so what should I say about light? Um, I really love painting with light. Um, I'm sure I'm probably not doing it the best way. Um, but what, what I've learned is, um, you know, light, what makes something light is um, being next to something dark. And so you can't have light without dark. You know, if you're just looking at a white piece of paper, then, you know, it's just a, basically a piece of paper. But if you have a black piece of paper with a, just a, you know, an edge of white on there, um, you know, it adds so much contrast um, and it looks bright. It looks like um, like sun, and so this is what I do with the the black and white values, <clears throat> and when I apply the color to it, um, I'll actually add more saturation to to whatever I want illuminated. Um, 
because as light's bouncing around, it's um, it's really adding color, and so I'll really make the value saturated. Uh, if you're looking at that cloud right there, that blue just on the tips of the clouds, um, they're really really saturated. And if you um, another good example in this image is that wave that um, I have there. Once it zooms out again, you, you'll be able to see it. Um, so there's so much light coming in there, and it's just scattering around in the wave, and it actually adds color. And um, so that's why it's just so saturated, that the light's just filtering right through there, bouncing, scattering. And uh, you, know, you, you capture this as an artist, because it's cool. Right? And you just want to add all these cool elements to your, to your image. And so <clears throat> that's what I'm doing. And uh, you know, uh, I shrunk the size of my um, my door as, as I said I added some really interest some weathered um, type of a uh, um, lighthouse here it's, it's really been sitting and pounding um, and exposed to all of this weather um, which is what I want to convey with with my image and I think I'm doing a, a really well job with it um, sometimes I think maybe I have too much contrast um, you know, I have some really dark values here. Uh, um, I've been trying to move away from that, but um, it does add a lot of drama when when you look at it. <clears throat> here I'm adjusting my tones, and which is why I'm adjusting the tones because it was just too dark for me. Um, which really kind of brightened everything up on the right, and so now I'm going through and adjusting some of these values here as well. I. Uh, I forgot to mention that um, when I just before I start coloring, I actually um, res the the size of the image up. Um, I went from 1,000 to 3,000, um, and then began uh, coloring. And uh, this is just something that I did. I don't think it, there's any um, benefit. Um, you know, I could have colored it when it was smaller. Kind of worked out my values. Um, um, actually worked out the colors that I wanted to put on top of my values from there. Um, but, I, you know, I had already done the values, so I just went through, just, you know, just applied them you know, right on top of it, the, the resed up image. Um, so a little trick here, um, um, I pulled some reflection from, uh, or, you know, basically the image, um, straight from the canvas, and uh, I'm going to use that in the, in the windows. Uh, the, the windows are highly reflective. Um, they're going to reflect basically everything that gets around. Um, and the lighthouse actually adds a little bit of a challenge um, because it's not only reflecting, um, but, uh, it's also translucent. Um, and, you know, I, I don't have a reference for this, so I'm just kind of playing around with the values, what kind of looks cool to me. Um, you know, I, I can imagine that the lights, um, you know, basically coming through. I'm adding, um, you know, the window panes here, um, you know, which adds some something unknown uh, inside. Um, I'm imagining the light is actually can shine through because uh, it's all glass up there, right? So, um, you know, I... I added um, some reflections of, or not reflections, but some uh, color on the other side to make it look like light. Um, it's, it's a really saturated um, value for, for the color there. Um, and, uh, you know, now I'm just going through and um, really kind of working on the lighthouse. Uh, I saved it for last, even though it's the, the main piece. I'm not really sure why I did that. Um, I, but but I did um, you know uh, <clears throat> uh, so I'm just adding more more windows and uh, adding some of the cool features. Uh, you don't want to add too much detail because you know it just looks too too overdone. Um, this was an, a problem that I had in the with the in my art career. Um, not even cool. it was you know my experiences I've always added so much detail and I love the detail I love getting down and and uh, adding things that that um, you know are just just no one else would see really unless they really really looked close to it um, but you know as I really realized um, just sometimes hints at things and 
uh, is better and lost edges and um, you know that's really what you want to go for and so what I'm doing right now is um, I'm adding shadow because um, you know the waves have form right and so um, they, they're curved and they're crashing um, they're gonna add some shadow uh, and it looked like it was a little too too light for me so um, I, I really wanted to um, to to make it stand out some more and give it a little bit more depth there. Um, so I'm getting close to the to the end of the image, and you know, of course I, I sign my name, and then I realize as I'm doing this that oh, crap, those rocks look like shit. And um, so this is actually what I explained before is, um, you know, sometimes I I stay zoomed out too too much, and um, I really want to. Um, try to avoid doing this. I, I could really zoom in and add so much detail on the foam, and, um, but I just want to add interest um, to areas that I think the viewers will, will look. Um, and certainly that corner is one of those areas that's where the, the composition is um, pulling the viewer's eye with the light. Um, and so um, given something interesting to look at, right, and that's why I'm adding some green here to the rocks and, uh, you know, hopefully it will carry their eyes um, the rest of the way up to the, um, the lighthouse. And uh, as you see in the lighthouse itself, um, I've gotten dark um, behind the lighthouse. And, and the reason for that is to add contrast, um, add interest, make the... the um, make it look like that the sun is actually um, shining on the lighthouse itself. Um, and, you know, this is the world that I'm creating. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm in control of it. I can do whatever I, I want here. I'm adding more light up there, more saturated values. And uh, I'm going through right now and just um, fixing all my brush strokes. Um, sometimes as I'm going you know, I'm working so quickly, I see all these brush strokes that just kind of look like crap. Um, so just going through and just fixing them. Uh, I, I like using the, the random brush for this. Um, some of the values on the, the bottom of the clouds just don't look quite right. I think I'm about to go through and fix them here. Um, really should be a little bit bluer um, and not so yellow. And same thing with the um, the, the ocean there. The, you know, the, the light doesn't go all the way back uh, to the horizon, so um, I want to just add a little bit more um, darker um, color there. Add a little bit more value in between everything, give it a little bit more depth. Um, and so uh, we're, we're nearing the end, um, just adding some little bit more cool things to my world here, and um, then I'll be finishing up. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my very first video. I'm actually surprised that I was able to talk through most of it. Um, I hope you learned something. If you um, if you use this method, um, you know, visit me on DeviantArt and uh, let me know, and uh, I'll, I'll go check it out because um, I'd be interested in, in seeing um, you know what what you guys are creating up there. So have a good day, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.